you can go on an adventure in the comfort of your own kitchen or your own garden. You know, the, the idea that you can wander out to your garden, pick up some wood lice, briefly boil them, and make a kind of a prawn cocktail but using wood lice. That is an adventure. I mean, I, it might sound strange, but it's an adventure you've had in your own garden that, that has taken you on extraordinary journeys of, of sort of strangeness and sometimes morality and, and, and the idea that you know, save, eating insects might save the planet. You've, you've done something that is a brilliant use of, of the planet's resources. It's, it's a whole cascade of extraordinary things that's happened in your own mouth. Can eating insects save the world? Eating insects is one of the solutions. So, you know, the, the, it'll take 20 years before insect eating is, is here in Britain on a big scale. But let's not forget, two billion people around the world eat insects on a regular basis. It's not weird. You know, this, this is already happening. If we want to save the planet's resources, if we want to use less land, if we want to use less water, if we want to make better use of the resources we've got, I don't think there's another option. We need to start eating insects on a, on a massive scale. We, we already do it. Just remember, remember those pink sweets that you eat, you know? They are made with cochineal bug blood. Absolutely amazing bunch of students today. I just extraordinary. They, they, they come in thinking, what the heck is going on? Why is this weird bloke telling me to eat insects? And it takes a little while to warm them up, which is all part of the plan. That's absolutely fine. I understand that it's, it's a really creepy idea. For, for a lot of people to, to eat insects for the first time. So you go slowly and you get them fascinated by a few, a few of the facts by it, get them to handle some live insects. So these are my, these are my little friends, these are Stanleys, uh, just easier if you call them all Stanley, basically. Uh, these are some locusts. Get them to handle some of those and get them sort of, get them to be relaxed around insects. And then, you know, we try out a few different things. The trick is getting one person to, to, to try them. The, the moment one person tries an insect and, or tries anything that's weird and wonderful to eat, then everyone else, they fall like dominoes. It's, it's a beautiful thing to watch. I'm hoping that they've just been inspired by this idea that insects can be a bit weird. They're strange, yes, admittedly, but they're magical as well. They're fantastic. They're, they're beautiful things. They're, you know, Stanley's, these are cute. They're cute. I mean, they're Slightly creepy as well, but they're cute and they taste delicious. I'm not eating these, I'm not eating these ones. Just the cooked ones, honest.